Okay, hello there, Wob, and welcome to, well, Rise of Nations Extended Edition. This is an RTS game I've never, ever played before. I got this free because I pre-ordered the Age of Empires Definitive Edition game, and then it got delayed, so they gave this as, like, a compensation because your game didn't come when you pre-ordered it. So this is this free. I can't remember what year. I don't know what year. What year is this? 2017 Skybox app. Does, that doesn't help when it first came out. So it's, like, early 2000s, maybe 2000. It could be something like that, but it's uh, an RTS game. Looking through, just watch the intro there. It looks like you go through many ages of, of, of time. So, never played it before. We're gonna do learn to play. Okay, I had a quick check of this earlier. I didn't play the game, but I had a quick check to see if it works. So, you got quick learn to learn the basics, beginning player, or an experienced real time strategy player should start here. It's similar to like Age of Empires 2 with William Wallace camp. So, I think we're gonna start here. And we'll, we'll do these three here and learn the game, and then maybe we can do something else afterwards, like a, a random map or something, just see how the game really works in a normal in a normal environment. <clears throat> this is on Twitch, that's why there's a picture of me, as usual. So let's, uh, let's try the Hundred Years' War. Invade France! Almost 500 years after Alfred defeats and absorbs the Vikings, Britain is a true United Kingdom. With the death of the French King Charles, the crown of France should legally pass to the King of England. The French, understandably upset about this turn of events, dig up an obscure law that denies the English claim. The English decide to seize their holdings in France by force. The French resist. Okay, let's start the Hundred Years' War. 80, 13, 30... Mmm, doesn't that mean something on the internet lingo uh, side of things here? You guys know what that means. Let's start. We are to attack the French city of Combein. Unfortunately, the French have discovered our intent and have rallied an army of arquebusiers, a new type of foot troop that uses gunpowder. Our army is well trained, but is outnumbered by the French troops. There is no way we can defeat them if we immediately attack the city. In their hasty preparations to defend Campagne, the French have left the city of Amiens undefended. We should attack and capture Amiens immediately. We can gather resources there to build our army, then defeat the French at Campagne. This is your army. Their numbers may be few, but they should be able to take Amiens easily. Select your entire army using a left-click drag box. Okay, we're in the medieval age. The clerk has just told me in chat here that May 20, 2003 was when the game released, and we missed the anniversary by four days. 15th anniversary as well. Wow. Chances are that. Now attack by right-clicking Amiens. All right. Where's Amien? Here it is. Right click. Okay, they're moving in formation. And the unpacking of the you trebuchet. You selected some, but not all of your military units. Use a left click drag box to select all of them. I am the Duke of Bedford against Joan, not Joan of Arc. I love Joan of Arc. Left clicking the map will clear all selections. To regain control of your army, drag select around them. When attacking cities or other buildings, it's useful to bring along siege units like trebuchets. They specialize in damaging buildings from a distance. Okay, so now it's deploying it right in the middle of the, in the center. That's not the best use of a trebuchet, I don't think, but... We're taking down the city of Amiens, guys. You are at war with this nation. These are our resources. Food, timber, metal, wealth. What's this one? Knowledge. Oh, you got a knowledge. Okay. There's a boy. There's a bird here, and there's another bird. Come on, guys, take out these buildings. Good job. Amiens is now under British rule. Select what the these city of Amiens. Select the city of Amiens. Is this this? Amiens now. There were arquebusiers garrisoned in the French barracks. Select your units and right-click the French troops. To the when you capture a city, you gain no military buildings like the barracks and stable remain under French control but are easier to destroy because they are stranded in your territory. Right, that was just give me evidence. You defeated the French attempt to reclaim Amiens. Good. We've destroyed all the French troops and buildings around Amiens. Apparently. We can focus on repairing the city and gathering resources. A few enlightened French citizens have become sympathetic to our cause and have volunteered to aid our rightful claim to the French throne. They have agreed to help us rebuild Amiens to its former glory. Select your citizens, then right-click Amiens to start repairing the city. This guy needs a minute to breathe. This guy needs to stop talking for a moment. He hasn't stopped. What's this? Temple. Expand city influence. 
I don't understand all this national border stuff. Those people will get explained to me. And this is a library where we can do, I guess, researches. And look at all the researches. Like Cossacks, this with thousands of researchers. By second citizens? And right click Amiens. What is this? A small city. This is actually the city. This building here Good. is a city. While the citizens are repairing Amiens, let's discuss how we can gather resources to build more troops and buildings. Our right. resources are displayed in the upper left part of the screen. From top to bottom, they are food, timber, metal, wealth, and knowledge. The number on the left shows how much of a resource you have. You have approximately 300 food. The number on the right shows our income level of each resource. Right now, we have very little food income. To get food, we must direct our citizens to build farms. Select one of your citizens and have them build a farm. All of your citizens are busy repairing Amiens, but feel free to pull one away to build the farm. He doesn't shut up. Okay. All right, build a building is the B command. The farm is hockey F. Place the farm near your city. This is like a good spot for a farm. There he goes. When the farm is complete, we get a permanent increase That's to our quick. food income as long as the citizen works on the farm. Look again at the upper left and you'll see that our food income has risen from plus 10 to plus 20. We need to get a better view of the terrain to help find good places to gather wood and metal. We can zoom out by rolling the mouse wheel backwards or pressing the page up key multiple times. Good, you can zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel good. forward or pressing the page down key. Feel free it's to better, zoom actually. in and out at any time. Now let's increase our timber income. Timber comes from the woodcutter's camp, also built by citizens. Select an idle citizen and build a woodcutter's camp. Where's my idle citizen button? What's this? Oh, it's just stood there. What's the, I, what's the command? It's, oh, it's the same as the Asian way. It's the plus command. Okay, B, and then what's this? Woodcutter's camps are placed near forests. They can be placed anywhere within your national borders. Trees will highlight as you place your camp. The more highlighted trees, the more timber your camp will produce. Place your woodcutter's camp now. We completed our woodcutter's camp, and now our timber income has gone from plus 70 to plus 80. Unlike the farm, the woodcutter's camp can have a number of citizens assigned to work on it. Select your woodcutter's camp. Give me a brick. Let me speak. In the bottom right corner is a display of citizens working at the woodcutter's camp. The empty faces show how many more citizens can be assigned to the camp. Each assigned citizen generates an additional plus 10 timber income. That's weird. Select one of your idle citizens and right click the woodcutter's camp to assign them to work there. Good. Now we're collecting all the timber we need to build our army. Okay then, right. Yeah, it must be train of th any train of thought that I had. What have we got up here? Barracks. We are now gathering more Sorry. timber. However, the resource readout for timber is flashing yellow. This means that some of the timber we are gathering is going to waste. This is because we are currently at our commerce cap, which represents the rate at which our nation can deal with incoming resources. We must research commerce technology at the library to increase our commerce cap. Select your library. Okay, let's do some research. In the lower left corner, the library shows you all technology research currently available. The red track represents military technology. The blue track represents civics technology. The green, commerce, and the yellow, science. Let's research the first green, commerce technology, barter, to increase our commerce cap. So you go to the classical age, and then you go to the medieval age, which we're in now, and then you go to the gunpowder age, and the enlightenment age, and then the industrial age, then the modern age, and then the information age. So now they want us to research the commerce level one barter research, which gives us new buildings of dock and market, increases commerce research, in, uh, da, 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 which in control increases controls your efficiency. I don't know. Do it anyway. That's got that quick research. Whoa! Comes up here. Your commerce cap has been raised. And research your is on the top right, guys. Now let's you can't learn see about metal. We can start gathering metal by using a citizen to construct a mine. Find an idle citizen and have them start building a mine near the mountain. To find an idle citizen to build a mine, click the idle citizen button near the mini-map. An idle citizen will be selected and you can instruct He's that idle? citizen to He's build working, a mine. He's working, isn't he? Idle. Idle? Okay. Let's build a mine then. 
Build mines near mountains and cliffs to gather metal. The more citizens work in the mine, the faster you accumulate metal. The bigger the mountain or cliff, the more citizens can work the mine. Mines can be built next to mountains or cliffs. Like the woodcutters camp, mines don't need to be near a city, but they do have to be within your national borders. Place your mine next to the mountain that is to the right of Amiens. Well done. Each mountain can support one mine. The bigger the mountain, the more citizens can work at that mine. Let's train more citizens at our city and have them start gathering resources. Now let's build more citizens who can gather more resources or construct new buildings. To create two more citizens, now notice in the top right corner of the screen that your population, the blinking indicates you have reached your current population limit, meaning that your nation cannot support any more. So by researching the art of war, now you now have more citizens to gather additional resources. Since you have plenty of timber income, assign your citizens to work at the mine to gather more metal or build more farms to increase our food income. Good. Feel free to build more citizens and assign them to gather more resources. It's a cost of mega We've villager. started gathering resources. Foods. It's time to build up our army to attack campaign. Yeah. The French still have a sizable army of gunpowder troops guarding the city. To defeat Where? them, we'll need to exploit their dependence it's on their new there. weaponry. The French have been training oh, only arquebusiers to defend campaign, so they lack a diverse set of units to defend against any kind of attack. Heavy cavalry have a decided advantage against gunpowder troops. We could build a large number of knights and press the advantage. Watch out for enemy pikemen who would make quick work of our knights. Let's build six knights at the stables to prepare for the attack. Okay. Light cavalry, knights, or horse archer. You can click the build buttons multiple times to queue several units. Try clicking the knights button multiple times to fill up your queue. To support the knights, we need to build five king's longbowmen at the barracks. King's longbowmen are unique units for the British and are extremely effective against heavy infantry like pikemen. Where's the barracks? That's a barracks? It's nothing. King's longbowmen. Oh, we got the longbowmen. Okay, build five king's longbowmen as we well. We also need another trebuchet to assist in attacking campaign. Okay. Rally points have been set for your barracks, stable, and siege factory. So your newly created troops will gather just below Amiens to prepare for battle. It's the siege unit. Okay, there it is. What is that? Factory? Hey, I, I was controlling this. This is I was making use of this uh, gather point, not you, friend. Hey, man. I can't select anymore. What's happened? I can't select the building. I don't know what's going on. Can I upgrade my knights? That's no, horse archers you can upgrade. This guy on the trebuchet is coming along now in a the cart. There's a guy in the back. He comes with it. It's a package deal. Get some more villagers just to get used to this system. So we researched that technology. It went from max 18 population to 150 by researching that military or whatever it was. Civic level 3. New research increases the number of cities you're allowed to build and expands your national borders. This here represents my national borders, but we're, we're at the border with the, the, the French uh, team here. Team. No, we are the French. No, we're the English. Well done. We've built an army large enough to battle the French. It's often useful to organize your troops by selecting all of a certain type of unit. You can do this by double-clicking the type of unit you want to select. Double-click one of your knights to select all of your knights. Good job. Using this selection method enables you to give commands to all your knights. This is very useful in combat. Now practice by selecting all your king's longbowmen using the double-click method. I'm practicing. Good. Now select all your... Excellent. Remember this ability. It... We're now ready to attack. Select all your military units and move them near campaign. When they get near the city, Whoa. direct your trebuchets to attack campaign and have your knights and archers attack the arquebusiers. Oh, Defeat the French army, capture campaign. Got some Left towers here, guys. The map will clear all selections. To regain control of your army, oh, this is observation force, them, whatever. Then right-click to move them. Let's go in with the horses, one of these guys. Let's uh, do a bit, you know. Try and get the troops killing the right troops. 
You know what I'm saying, guys? We're at war here, guys. We're at war. Their mistake and are marching in a force of a oh. pikemen to defeat our knights. Our knights are vulnerable to these units and will be routed if we are not Get back. Careful. You're, you're vulnerable. Select all your knights by double clicking them and move them back to army end. Once your knights are away, select all your longbowmen and have them attack the pikemen. Our unique unit should make quick work of the pikemen. Come on, you unique units. Let me just close this down. The French army Do has been disturb. routed. Yes. Now that the French army is defeated, have your troops attack campaign. Attack campaign. Attack those trebuchets. I thought I had like two trebuchets at the start of the game. Idle men, gotta keep these idle men moving, guys. Gotta get the city going. Oh, what the fun? What the fun? That's a nice looking windmill. It's gonna be mine soon. Villagers don't know what's. Can you kill the villagers? Yes, shoot them. Shoot them. Oh. Oh, this. Is this a woman villager? Oh, you came. You came at the wrong time. That's Joan of Arc. Let's get her. It's Joan of Arc herself plowing the fields. She's vanished. What's this? Fog or something? Or is it just a glitch? Oh, no. It's, okay, there's unit fog, guys. This is unit fog. You can barely see it, like. It looks like the, the grass is just a different texture. But there are units, like, behind this line here. Kill it! It. Kill him! Well, let's go down. Let's go see if we can find that woman. See where she went. Where did you go? Has been reduced. Now you need to direct your foot units to capture the city. You have taken campaign and defeated the French army. This is a tremendous victory for England. I have a sense that you will do great things. Yeah, I will. We did it, guys. We did it. Examine the map. Oh, they had it. They had it. What's this? Paris? There's Paris over here, guys. I didn't know Paris was over there. We could have attacked Paris. I don't like Paris. Captured Queen Helen and ended up losing Troy. Okay, F10 for the menu. Let's go to the next level. Henry VIII, defend against Scottish raids. So we've gone like, what, almost 200 years into the future now. In 1509, following a century of turmoil, England has stabilized under the rule of the legendary King Henry VIII. During his 38 year reign, he will marry six times, break with the Catholic Church, and fight several wars. Early in Henry's reign, the King of Scotland invades England. To secure his throne, Henry must master the rapidly changing nature of warfare while effectively running his country. Imagine if Scotland successfully invaded England and now there was no England, it was just Scotland. The United Kingdom of Scotland and Northern Ireland. <laughs> the Scottish, led by King James IV, have invaded Northern England and captured a number of strongholds. The English army is marching north to face them, but for the time being, English citizens must fend for themselves. Just chopping away. We must defend oh, shit. against the Scottish <laughs> raids and prevent Winchester from falling under the rule of King James. Protect Not chopping away anymore. They'll be killed by the Scottish. You don't have any military units nearby and don't have time to train any. So we'll have to sound the alarm, which will bring our citizens to safety within the city. First, select your city. Sound the alarm of Winchester. Now select the alarm button in the lower left panel. Good job. Citizens near the city will run to the nearest city, fort, or tower for safety. The citizens in hiding will fire arrows at their attackers. Good. Very Age of Empires like this, isn't it? Our city of Winchester is being raided by King James the Fourth. Shoot them with your bows and stuff. Let's get some more citizens. Can we tell them to garrison inside immediately? Valley point. The Scots have had enough and are retreating. Bitches. I think we are safe for a while, so we can send our citizens back to work. Select your city again. Select the all clear button to send your all citizens clear. back to work. Why is it a different hockey? Should we just... Good job. Now your citizens will return to where they worked before you sounded the alarm. Good. The king knows of our situation, and we've been assured that reinforcements are coming. Yeah. We must continue gathering resources while we wait for protection to arrive. We need to replace the woodcutter's camp that was destroyed in the raid. On the right side of our nation, there is a large forest far from Scottish eyes. 
Unfortunately, we can't establish a woodcutter's camp there because the forest is beyond our national borders, which is indicated by the red line. A nation cannot build outside its borders, so we will need to extend our borders. One of the best ways to increase your territory is by building new cities. Let's try to build one near the woods. Okay. Select one of your citizens. Select the buildings button. You can see that the build city option is grayed out. Some buildings require certain technologies before they can be built. If you move the mouse over the build city button and read the help text, it states that building the city requires researching civics at the library. <laughs> so let's go to, to the library and research civics. Research the first blue civics technology, city state, at the library. It should not. Raises the number of cities you're allowed to build. Excellent work. There we go. With each blue civics technology you research, you can add an additional city to your nation. Right. Now build a city near the forest on the right side of your nation. Okay, I will do just that right now. It also allows us to create more villages at the same place as well. So this should extend our national border here. Come on, come and help me build this. Come on, let's speed it up. Doesn't need to do it. Quite quick, actually. Take it back, take it back, guys. Get back to slaving away in the mines. Your city is complete, and your it's Newcastle. borders have been extended. Hey. Now most of the forest Re is represent, within our baby. And represent. Build a woodcutter's camp. Build a woodcutter's camp near the forest. Try to find a spot where eight or nine citizens can work. You know, just know I'm from Newcastle in England, so this is my hometown, bitch. Actually, well, I'm from Durham, so it's a bit like I'd be from like here, Durham. But you know, Newcastle is the biggest city. I'd tell people from Newcastle. Woodcutters camp with That's Newcastle football team. One quick way to assign new citizens to the Woodcutters camp is to give the city a rally point. A rally point directs units to go to a specific location when they are built. Now select the rally point button in the city's interface. We're getting ahead of him. We're ahead of him, man. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Now all the citizens created at the city go. will go to work at the woodcutters. Camp. Ahead of him. I'm ahead if of you him. Create more citizens than there are openings. Looks like Newcastle. Camp what? And wait for your command. Now create enough citizens at your new city to fill the woodcutters camp to capacity. Capacity. Remember to move your mouse over your woodcutters camp to see how many you need. Whatever. Let's get some farms. It's one more, I think. You can need one more. What's a help key for this V? You can also future. use rally points on military buildings to have your newly created units gather near a strategic location. Our reinforcements have just arrived. Nice! We are saved from the Scots. Yeah! Most of English was once Danish. Yeah, there's a lot of influence, especially in the northern there England. Is no mistake. This is the entire reinforcement. These javelineers and a few light cavalry are all the English command could spare to send us. These Chips outdated kids. units won't be much good against the Scottish hordes. We'll need to advance our nation to the gunpowder age or our forces will be crushed by the Scottish army. We need to start gathering knowledge to advance to the gunpowder age. Okay. Knowledge is gathered by building universities and filling them up with scholars. So first, select a citizen and build a university. Okay, have I got any idle ones to do here? Build a university. Oh, 60 wood, 30 wealth. Great scholars who gather knowledge. Knowledge then can then be spent at research in the library. Guys, got idle villages everywhere. Universities generate some knowledge on their own, but need scholars to be fully effective. Okay. Select your university. We have just enough wealth to fill up the university with scholars. Build seven scholars at the university. When a scholar is complete, they appear within the university. Each oh, scholar look in a university adds to your knowledge gathering rate. Pretty cool. Think of like the Senate. So there's a granary. Increases food output by 50%. Fishermen. We filled our fishermen. university to capacity, and we will gather enough knowledge soon to advance to the gunpowder age. A fish. However, we spent all our wealth on scholars. We need to start gathering more wealth to refill our coffers. In more wealth. You gain wealth by establishing trade routes with caravans between your cities. Okay. To build caravans, we need to first build a market. Build Marcus. a market. Is it like in thing where the further it is away, the more you get? We'll go for that. We'll but Brock, you know, it goes from city to city, so ignore that. So the two traders from city to city that'll generate wealth. Create wealth through our own trade. How does that work? You can build caravans. Trading with ourselves. How do we get more uh... we want to create a caravan? Jesus, that's a lot of text. Generate wealth by making trade routes between pair cities. Only one caravan can ply the route. Fly. Between a pick of the pair of cities. 
create one additional caravan for each commerce research. When caravans are created, they're idle for a moment. They then find an available open route between cities and start to establish a trade route. With sufficient commerce research, a trade route can be established between any two cities. We currently have two cities, thus we only need one caravan to generate wealth from the trade route. Makes sense. If you want to generate more wealth, build more cities and caravans to travel between them. While we're waiting for the caravan to generate more wealth for us, we can start looking at other rare resources on the map. Besides Ooh, the resources. common resources of food, timber, metal, wealth, and knowledge, there are rare resources that we can also control. This is spice, a rare resource. Move your mouse over the spice for help text about the effect spice. The help text says that we get a bonus for... We, we need to build a merchant to take advantage of the spice. Build a merchant at the market. I'm making a merchant to take advantage of the spice. Good These guys job. are idle for Select no reason. your merchant and right-click the spice so your merchant can gather this rare resource. Arms. Five per city. Get off. Okay, I want to stop building. There we go. Okay. You mentioned right click on the spice, have a site gathering for us. Right. Merchants allow you to claim and gain the benefit from rare races such as wine, diamonds, and horses. Deploy merchant next to a rare races to claim. So he's going over there now. Okay. Basically, just a guy with a, with a rag on and a donkey. Units can automatically travel across water if you have nice. a dock well for the arrival at Winchester. research to your library. We have the needed requirements, so your merchant will pack itself into a <laughs> boat and move across the Hope water. the tutorial guy got paid per word. I'm guessing he did, and that's why he just went for it. I've already done this. Okay, it's deploying, deploying merchant. What, like, it's a parachute? <laughs> your merchant has set Why do you turn into a house? Gathering spice for your nation. You have established wealth income by making a trade route between cities and received a bonus by sending a merchant to gather the rare resource spice. Good job. While we've been setting up our trade routes to gather wealth, our scholars have generated enough knowledge to upgrade to the gunpowder age. To nice. advance an age, we need to do research at the... The top row of buttons in the library record your nation's progress through the ages. We're currently in the medieval age, and we want... Congratulations! Our nation has advanced from the Quick. medieval age to the gunpowder age. Among others... It's medieval, not barracks. medieval. Medieval. Select your barracks. Which one's the... The barracks is the raggedy-looking thing, right? The top row of units okay, are one currently now, available. Maybe. Below each unit is its upgrade. Below the elite javelinier is its upgrade, Arquebusier. Now let's upgrade our javelinier's to modern units before King James attacks. Okay. Select the Arquebusier upgrade to start researching this new unit type. This costs 376 food, 272 timber. Strong versus pikemen and archers. Weak versus heavy cavalry and tanks. Weak versus tanks. Well, fucking state the obvious, why don't you? Jesus. <laughs> what kind of man isn't weak versus tank? Weak versus tanks. Cavalry, cavalry, are you weak versus tanks? No, they're not weak versus tanks, cavalry. They, do, they just run at them head on. They put the, they put the, they put the sword inside the actual, like, uh... Our spies the gun report preparations and blows up. to the north. We blows I think itself King up. James has grown restless and is ready for battle. Move your entire military near your city of Winchester to prepare for the attack. Preparing. Can I upgrade this? It's just observation post. Speak for yourself, I'm tank resistant. Remember to sound your alarm on the Scottish attack, so your citizens will run to safety and fire guns at the attackers. I don't need you to sound the alarm yet, they aren't here. Keep working. Can I get some more men? Some kings. What are these? They cost 100 wealth. What arches? All right, let's get some of them. Newcastle, how you doing? Newcastle, what's this button do? We're at the large city. Why is five kinds of building? Oh, here they come. Oh, it's like a group of them. It's three of them per per research. Sound the alarm. To war. We're running in. There they go. Can you upgrade them again? No. Get some more men. Come and take them down. Okay, let's, let's unsound the alarm. It's just not needed. It's not needed, guys. Oh, we wrecked the Scottish. This is so historically accurate. Where's William Wallace now, bitches? What 
What's this? Commerce limit. What is commerce limit? Don't know. Have I won? Did I counterattack? Do it. I'll do it. We'll counterattack. Oh, there's a guy. Look at this geezer. Congratulations. We have defeated the Scottish attack and survived against all odds. Oh, yeah, bitches. Pardon my language. Don't know why I'm speaking like this right now. Examine the map. Let's look at the Scottish guys. Leicester. Okay, guys, so the Scottish invaded England and captured Leicester. However, we've just built Newcastle, which is way north, way more north than uh, than Leicester. Leicester's pretty much like south to me. I'm guessing when you make a city, it comes with a random name, but still, this is not accurate enough for me, guys. I demand respect towards Newcastle and Leicester. Quit. Alright guys, I'm quickly gonna go and blow my nose because I can feel I can feel a boogie running. I can feel a boogie running down. Alright, final tutorial guys. Let's do this. The Battle of Britain. Battle of the Germans in Britain's finest hour at 1940. I guess we'll learn about diplomacy, air combat, generals, oil, enhancement buildings, formations. The First World War has left Europe decimated and bankrupt. In Germany, domestic upheavals trigger the rise of extreme nationalism, and the German war machine is rebuilt. When it becomes clear that Germany cannot be thwarted by diplomacy, a reluctant Britain declares war along with its ally, France. For the second time in a quarter century, a world war erupts, one that is destined to be more terrible than the first. I really didn't know this. It was. But it's Warsaw. <laughs> After years of giving in to German okay. demands, it is clear to England that their policy of appeasement has failed. Goodbye, Germany Poland. Has invaded Poland and declared war on the free world. Oh, can I help? <laughs> okay. England can no longer watch passively while the free countries of Europe are conquered. We must declare war on the Germans and establish an alliance with the French. Click the diplomacy button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Look at first. Okay, there it is. This is the diplomacy window. Each of our neighboring nations has a stance icon that represents our relationship with them. Mm. We are at peace with all our neighbors, as shown by the dove icon. Okay. Click the dove icon next to Germany to declare war on that nation. It cost wealth to start a war. Go hey. ahead and pay the cost. Uh, we are at peace with Chancellor Adolf Hitler. Declare war. Cost is 560. Oh, we've got plenty of that stuff. Now we have declared war on the Germans, and the icon has changed from a dove <laughs> to a sword Maybe. to represent that. We need yeah. to set up an alliance with, with France. Select Premier Paul Renault to open up the negotiation window with France. Taunts have we got? I need metal. I need metal. I need wealth. All right. I need wealth. Oil. How British is this guy? I need wealth. All right. Wealth. Wealth. I need food. Ha. Uh, I need. Oh, yeah, knowledge. Do you need resources? That's Big a up, boy. A redneck? <laughs> hey, dude, a little help here. You start the game already? Be on the wonder, boy. Uh, Quick. Guard my artillery. Okay. What do we do? Uh, what do we press? Good. This okay. is where we can make deals. <laughs> didn't, with I didn't listen. I was getting distracted by the taunts. Form an alliance with France. Click on the ally checkbox with the two hands shaking to indicate that you want to propose an alliance. I'd like to propose an alliance or a mutual attack. After you have set the options you want, you can propose the offer to the other party. Click the propose button to propose the alliance to France. The French have indicated they need food in return for an alliance. In the top left corner of the window is the interface to offer and demand resources during a negotiation. The buttons on the left will demand 100 resources. The buttons on the right will offer 100 resources. 
Click five times on the Food Offer button. Press the Propose button again. To we have successfully closed the diplomacy window. Accepts offer. Okay. So why do they need food to become allies? Now we have an alliance with the French. You no know, attack. Among we have to give them food. Alliances allow their members to share line of sight. Members of an alliance can move into each other's territory without penalty and can set trade routes between our cities. The okay. German attack on Paris is imminent. The French desperately need our help, so we will send reinforcements. Our troops are in place near Dover for the fight. To in increase Dover. the effectiveness of our units, we should have a general nearby. Right. Generals are created in fortifications, like the redoubt. Create a general at your redoubt. Doubt. Well, achievement unlocked. Generous. Send resources to an eye. Okay. Fitting general. Generals have a number of special Get abilities that are useful in combat. Mm. They also automatically enhance the fighting ability of nearby mm. units. We are to move our forces across the English Channel and rendezvous with a French armored car near the coast. Select all of your military. Now right-click the flag near the French armored car to have your units move across the English Channel. Oh man, they already going to boats. That's pretty cool. I mean, they just magically turn into one, but it's still pretty cool. You need to have, like, some sort of, like, research or, like, backup boats or something in stockpile to be able to do that. Your army has moved to the rendezvous point. Yeah. We need to get into position for the German attack. Yes. The French force has gathered on the primary road to Paris in an effort to hold back the main assault. The French have requested that we position the English forces to guard Calais on the northern coast. Yeah, we'll we need to position we'll our Cal troops we'll, to defend yeah. Calais. Move them to the flag below the city. Let's Your go to Calais, be guys. More effective in formation. Let's get these to immigrants out of here, these refugees. Get out of right Calais. Prospect. You're not coming over to Dover. Get out of here. the direction you want your units to face. A line indicates the direction. Move the mouse to position your troops, okay. and then release the right mouse button to move your units into that formation. We are now in position to defend Calais. We can use one of the general's special abilities to help our troops fight even Sis. better. The general has a number of abilities that he can use. Each of these abilities affect ground units nearby. Select the general's entrench ability. Entrench ability? Well, that was a craft. What's craft? This. Oil. Well, this is craft. It takes some time for the general to entrench nearby units. Look at the bottom right of the screen and you'll see the progress. The troops around your general what? are now entrenched. What was that? As long as they don't move, they take less damage in battle. Giving them a move order cancels the entrenchments. The Germans have arrived. Fucking hell, the Germans are, are, are messed up with our communications or something. What the hell was that? Crap. Then Dungeon Keeper there for a second. What's going on? There's a devil in <laughs> What the hell? are not prepared to deal with the German tanks. And their army is getting torn apart. Now the Germans have sent a force to capture Calais. Alright. Facing in the wrong direction, geezers! These guys, they've got rockets. Bazookas. They are strong against tanks. The tank could just run the buggers over, though, couldn't they, surely? Well fought. We fared better than the French German because devil. we were entrenched and had anti-tank weaponry to fend off the German panzers. Although we have beaten off the first German <laughs> was a terrible the trench. They were, they were entrenched facing control. the wrong way. I didn't we know which way to do it. Army and return to England. We need to quickly retreat to the coast and cross the channel back to England. The general has an ability that can help speed our retreat. Select the forced march ability. Forced march, go! <laughs> do you think the do you think the voice actor was just like so fed up with all this text? We've made it. He just mixed it up coast, now and then, and the, the, and the people who and like Microsoft who have to start fuck it. I'm not checking Select all of these. I'm sure they're fine. Back to Dover. 
But you're in the British forces have been saved by cunning and bravery, but our time for bravery has not yet ended. The battle for France is the battle of and the battle for Britain is about to begin. This right. will be a battle That's of meant to be historically power. accurate, Germany guys. That's where Germany um, went through the, uh, the, the marshlands, need to destroy our took out the French, the coast and then England just got away. Ground forces across the channel to attack. I remember they were just called. This, they'll need to establish air superiority over southern England and wipe out our installations with bombers. Our course of action is clear. We need to build air bases and fighter planes to defend against the impending German air attack. To build air bases and airplanes, we will need to start his voice. accumulating oil. Build air base. Oil can be found beginning in the industrial age. To start gathering oil, we need to build oil wells over these oil deposits. Have your citizens build an oil well over each of the three oil deposits. Okay, I'm, I did press build it, but I don't know. I don't, where's he going? That's an oil refinery. Okay. Each well supplies oil, quite quick. but we can generate even more by constructing an enhancement building, the oil refinery. Food, timber, and metal resources each have an enhancement the building that increases the production of that resource. Build enhancement buildings when you want to improve your production rate. Build an oil refinery near London to increase our oil production. An oil refinery, which will increase our production of our oil wells. So we do get to build that refinery. We doubt. Create a spy. Bribe enemy combat units to join your nation. Good. Now notice that our oil production has substantially yeah, spy increased. Does that. We now have enough oil production to start creating air bases and airplanes. Okay. The Germans will most likely attack our fortifications near Dover, so we need to set up our air bases so they can easily protect this area. Have your citizens build two air bases near Dover. Is he got a beanie on? This geezer, like, is a world war going on. He's standing by the beach and he's got a beanie on, just bored. That guy's. Alright. Military buildings is why. Okay, these hockeys are terrible. Build an airbase. Build two airbases. Is it? Nice. Great fire warriors. Yeah, that'd be good for taking down the uh, buildings. Manchester, the Lancaster bomber, Lanchester. Now that we have some air bases, we can create fighters and bombers. Two kinds of airplanes can be created at an air base. Fighters and bombers. Bombers are effective against buildings. Fighters are best at destroying other air units and ground troops. Since the Germans will send bombers to attack our cities and airfields, right. we need to create fighters for defense. You have fighters. built a Lancaster bomber. These bombers wreak havoc on ground targets, but are defenseless against incoming German attacks. Build fighters to attack German airplanes. I'm going to. One of the best uses of fighters is to send them out to patrol the area to defend against incoming aircraft. So a lot now. On the right side of the screen. The bottom left panel shows the actions available to the fighter. Select the air mission button. Left click near the flag in the English Channel to set the plane's destination. Right clicking clears the selection. Select air mission again and left click the target to order an air patrol. Are they checking? Left click near the flag. Did. It's gonna run on a petrol and just blow up. They're going back. That was pointless. What did that achieve, guys? I like how they land. What? Yeah. That maneuverability, that's awesome. No wonder we won. This aircraft was fueling. Aircraft ready. Try that again. The audio planes to target. Still, they're going back out again. Watch your fighter as it flies off to patrol the area. Patrolling fighters will fly between their airbase and patrolling point and attack any unit that comes into range. 
Airplanes okay. have a limited amount of fuel, shown by the blue bar over the fighter's health. When an okay. aircraft's fuel is depleted, they will fly directly back to their home air base to Makes refuel. Sense. After your fighter lands, it will take some time to rearm and refuel from the journey. Then it will head out to patrol again. Some fighter planes from northern England have arrived to help us in our battle against the Germans. These reinforcements will help, but we still need more defenders. Fill both air bases with ten fighters. Three more there. Three more there. What are these upgrades British to? British Royal Air Force is ready for action. All your fighters should patrol near the coast of Dover so we can defend against the German air attack. Select all your fighters in each air base and give them an air mission to patrol near Dover. That's right, we're patrolling, baby. Excellent. We are now ready for the German attack. We're ready for the German attack. Look at these guys. Look at them patrolling the seas. Look at these graphics. Where's the attack? The German Adolf Hitler owns Calais. Oh, here they come. The Germans are here. It's up to our air force. Look at the air raid alarm going off. Are they going back to refuel? Oh, there's the bombers. Oh, -hoo -hoo. oh there goes one. They're going down, guys. How do we have a fighter or anti-aircraft battery? Has been this thing here. England has been saved. Yes. Now we can start a bombing campaign of our own. Ooh. We need to destroy the German air bases along the coast of France so that Germany won't be able to send any more attacks our way. Build another air base near. Dor I'm already on top of you. I'm ahead of you. On top of you. You know, the thing about RTS games is I always like the traditional now medieval type of thing. I've never been a fan of modern day RTS, like fighter planes and all this stuff. It goes just too far. Ten Lancaster bombers now. What does it cost to create these? 160 wealth, 160 oil. It's so easy to create these things units so quick. Like them. One quick way to assign airplanes to perform an air mission is by right-clicking a target. Right-click the airbase to send your Lancaster bombers in to destroy it. When you select air mission and designate a unit or building, planes will fly directly to the target and attack. Here come the bombers. Dun, 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 Look at this air raid here, guys. Even the music's like... Like, it's, it's really daunting. Path of storm. Lives are about to be lost. Oh, there we go. A resistant building, that's a lot of bombs. Oh, they turn back around and do another one. Yeah. Excellent work. We have defeated the Germans in the Battle of Britain. The liberation of Europe will be difficult, but I'm sure we will prevail. I'm sure we will. <clears throat> Your team won by conquest. This was Poland, right? Poland got taken over. And then they came over and took over France. Although Lille's still there. Those Versailles. England, though, we rock Portsmouth over here. London, Tan, Nottingham. And of course, Dover. Alright, guys, that's the tutorial. Now we've figured out how to play the game. Can we play a normal game and figure out what the hell we're doing? Conquer the World Campaigns multiplayer game. Logging into online services. Let's see what multiplayer will be like after we've come straight off the back tutorial. Jump into multiplayer. And just win. Esports, Rise of Nations. Hundred million dollars, unable to connect to servers. That's about right. <laughs> Let's play diplomacy. Yeah. So we can we can change. We can make alliances. Yeah. Let's see how this plays. I don't know the build orders or anything. We are the Koreans. Next tip. You can set the group units by left clicking the mouse button. Okay. 
glorious. Pardon my friend. Oh, we're in Seoul. Are we? Are we the Koreans? Of course. Okay. Okay. Here's our little land, guys. We're in the ancient age. There's a scout. What do scouts do? Click to move. Click to move. Okay, can we get another farm? Just keep building. We'll get our farm around here. Very nice. Farm here. I think did it say you can have five farms per if five per city, you you must found you must found a new city. Okay. A library. Increases your population limit. What's this? Temple. And how many men can we get working the camp? Just the three. We need to scout a bit more. Oh, this guy's got like a dog. Alright, scouting around with this geezer. No hockey. Go back to my uh... Okay, I've got idle men now. Oh, I was gonna attack there, the, the language was the sounded weird, never mind. I'm not I'm not what I'm trying to say. Are these mountain ranges? No. Like if I was to try to build a, a mining camp, I can't build. I need to. I need to. I need to advance up to the next age. Get a library then. We've got one library already. How do we advance? Price two more library researchers. Okay. Number of cities you can build expands and increases natural borders. Build a dock and a market. Uh, science level one. Price a bit of wealth. Units can be transported by sea. Okay. Okay, we're building, we're researching civic so we can get another city, maybe? I still don't know what uh, commerce limit means. Okay, can we build a new city? And we can build it over here, I suppose. It expands the area of our thingy. But like... Here. Very well, let's get another city. Let's get another city. Our scouts just. Auto explore on. Yeah, that'll do. There we go, he'll do it himself. That makes sense for me. What's this? Renix. Reduce research time and upgrade times by 33%. So if we get a merchant there, does that guy take it? Yeah, send a merchant from the market to collect the resources. Let's research the one that lets us build a market. Okay, and then we'll build the market, then do that, then increase our research time altogether. You know what I'm doing. Okay, so what is here as well? Explore here to gain a bonus. Bonus of what exactly? Get a few farms here. Oh, we're out of, we're out of wood. Okay. We build our market now. Which one's the market? This one. Must be in the city. Computer reached the classical age. Oh, they're so quick. Which one's the computer? Because there's three of them. What do these percentages mean? Score? The Koreans have the power of tradition. Start with the temple and receive religion upgrades for free. Start with an extra one citizen, receive three when you build your next city, and five for all future cities. Fares fifty percent faster. What does this do? Temples increase city effect on national borders. I don't know. Market gives me more wealth. Let's get the merchant. Send them over to here. I guess we can get another one. Well, that's going to cost us wealth. To get a caravan as well. We need. Oh, we need the. We need the wood. Any more trees? Can I build just like build another like lumber camp? Let's see which one's the lumber camp? Can I build it just next to this? Oh, it already has one. Okay. Any more trees here? Okay, there's trees here. Oh, that's a good one. Look at all the highlighted trees we can get. We'll get some more. 
We'll figure this out as we go. We're in the ancient age still, but that's okay. I don't feel like we have any need to get up. Faster research. Nice. Is that it? Is it done? You can go to this one now? Where's it gone? Okay, nothing there. Uh, oh no, we've got this out. This is our first market, and this is the second one, but I'm sure there's some relics or something we can get, and maybe it's disappeared. Whatever. Where's our caravan? Didn't we get a caravan? Oh no, that costed wood and we couldn't afford it. Right. The guy's still scouting around. We can get four more four more men over there, guys. Get four citizens over there. And we can get two more farms, I believe. Farm's been uh, exhausted. Did they just rebuild it automatically? Yes, sir. Another farm? It has to be near this city. Right, that makes sense. At least the villagers can transfer between these cities. They don't, they don't, they're not like restricted to working in them. Okay, there's the guy giving me wealth. Library, right. Uh, we can go to the next age for food. Yeah, let's go to the next age then. So, green one's in second, blue one's in first age, and we're going to the second one now. That's what this indicates here. I don't know what these P's mean. Research commerce at the library. We're at the commerce camp. Which one's the library again? Uh, reach commerce level. Is this it? Cost knowledge. to build a stable and a tower. We need that for the research, for the population limit. Anyone know what's going on here? Rare resource discovered a virus? I'm going to find some ruins. Explore here to get a bonus. Do just that. We found something up here, did we? Our merchant has to get that. And the merchant there. Okay, I'll do that as well. Even build a city up there as well, maybe. I'm, I'm trying to use hockey so my age member is, and obviously it's not working too well. It's quick, I'm quick clicking all sorts of stuff. What's this do? So if I get another city, can I get, can I get two more merchants? Because they'll go from like in a triangle. Almost level. We need knowledge. How do you get knowledge again? It was the um. The building, wasn't it? It was right, the building. It's the university. This guy can get a city. What's this, a senate? If built at any other city besides your capital, it changes that city to your new capital. Senates allow you to research systems of government. Uh, where's my city at? I need to re research civics to get more. Man, you gotta research everything. Gonna get that to get another city. Increase. How is taxation? Increases temples of increased effect. Plus four. Points by 50% in the city. Come at range plus two. It's been scouted. We've been scouted, guys. Where's this guy going? Look what we've set up in our, in our, our little papaya hut. Now let's get these. Senate's here. Should give us some uh, knowledge. Can we can we worship now? Get this? Can we get this? Yes. Okay, we can get another city now. We'll build a city up here, so we can get another five more farms on top of that. We can get a forested thing next to this forest here, and we can get some more wealth. Let's build that. Put more villages up here. I imagine you can remap the hotkeys and make it like a grid layout similar to the other RTSs, but we're not looking to do that, are we? 
This green guy's got a huge score. A, a huge percentage. Is that, is that exploration, maybe? Yeah, exploration. Those videos plus seven knowledge each if you do that. 260 wood. So we research. We research what at the at the library? Science research. That's this one. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Get our market to create. I'm guessing two more caravans. Get five more farms. Increase food production. Blocked by existing. Is it? Why is it lagging? I mean, I'm not online. And you guys, which one's the the wood choppers here? Get it right there. I mean, I'm. I might not not bother using the. Vladimir Lenin has changed. Okay, he's done something. He's now a republic. Can we can we get this converse commerce level going up? Yes, let's do it. Let's get rid of this flashing nonsense. Okay, we've got everyone working there. Got five farms. Yes. Have we found anywhere that mines? I think we have. Let's get our senate building up. Because why not? Commerce level research complete. Problem is, I don't know which one, where, where, which one classes mountains. Is this just this mountain thing here? Is this a mountain? Oh, it is. Get some metal. Yeah, our, our caravans are working from there. Yes, all three of them are working. Excellent. We hereby declare that a state of war exists between your pathetic nation and our mighty one. Declare war. Vladimir Lenin has just declared war against us. Yeah. Uh... New building, siege factory you upgrade to keep. Okay, let's just I can go to the next age, but let's see. Can we be diplomatic here? The Russians. See if we can uh, propose an alliance with these guys. Not I haven't encountered them yet, so I can't. Our city's being raided. Oh! Oh, they got armies and stuff, everything. Okay, come on. Let's get our own military buildings and a stable, please. Barracks, please. The senator. Christ, Marco and Hoplite Slingers? Yee! attack they got a healer who's this guy attack now I see don't attack my caravans okay light horse free and unique unit we need some more men than this what are all these a colossus what are, what are all these buildings I'm fighting Get inside. What's the garrison button? Gee. They're advancing to the next gauge as well. To war! Okay. Still no men. Vladimir Lenin has reached the medieval age. They're ahead of us. Military research at the library. So much stuff to do, guys. Keep researching things. City of Seoul has been. Can we just change government to deep this. I don't know what that means. Kill him. Alright, these guys aren't doing much. Slingers, hop lights, please. I'm 
guys can go back to work. Get some more barracks. Nice, what happened? Whoa! Get people working. Bow down to our superior knowledge. Make peace with us now or suffer the consequences. Propose make peace. They want to make peace? They just attacked me and now they want to make peace. Mm, maybe if I demand some... Uh, I demand wealth! We reject your effort. <laughs> Bitches. I wanted wealth. Get some uh, metal, actually. Merchant, you may as well put them on auto explore. Gems. Okay. This, this needs tons of men. Oh, I need to send people back, that's why. Up lights. Heavy infantry. It's to increase the hop lights. That needs metal. The computers meet the medieval, medieval, medieval age and another mine. That mountain's already got a mine, okay. One mountain. Get escape to stop it. Merchant scouting for us. These guys over here. Lenin had amassed all the resources. What do these mean? The Russians have the power of the motherland. Second Russians. What's that noise? Yeah, it's just the music. It's just the music. Get some hop lights. Phalanx. Phalanx is now. That's metal to create. What doesn't cost metal? Hoang. Get some hoang. Let's build some farms here. People are sitting on the bums. Doing nothing. We get another city? No, we need to research more civic. More civic. Feudalism. New researchers at the temple. I'm gonna get that. I don't know what it does, but it's, it's gonna give us something. What else can we build as a team? These require the next age. That requires science research. Increases output in the... Okay, we'll get a granary. If we get the science research done. Whoa, what's going on here? That was Senate. Victor Research Republic. How much limit increased by 50 receives the Senate appear to a general who also provides healing bribing? Ah, uh, that's what the Russian guy had. Or oh, despotism. Military research and barracks units. Achiever. Yes. New library just treat the cheapest. Okay, let's just go for. Let's make ourselves a republic. That sounds like a plan. We've got an army here as well. Siege factory, tower, small, cheap for a fort. No republic. Dock? There's no docks. Better lookout. Detect enemy units. Hidden enemy units nearby. Build them anywhere. Oh, is this our land? We have a big... Oh, we got a big territory here. There's a mountain we can build on then? Nice, okay. What? Oh, what happened? Our van's still exploring. Our scout's still exploring. Enjoy enemy spies. They're just here doing nothing. Get another city. Increase our borders. Oh, I think this is the border of uh, Russia. Woohoo, this is Russia, guys. They're gonna re regret attacking me, I'll tell them. I'll tell them, they're gonna regret attacking me. Oh, any of these help me out here? 
You're building the granary and the lumber mill. Yes, we want them. This is our senator. Where's our... All our units. How many men can you hold at once? Okay. Let's see if these can build our granary then or whatever it was. Lumber mill. Another... And a granary. Nice. Napoleon speaking to me. It's always a pleasure to meet the ruler of a primitive niche. <laughs> you bitch. Lumber mill. Honorary. Uh, let's go to the medieval age then. Why not? Increase our phalanxes and stuff. What's this? A scout. Scouts! Fast but unarmed, good for exploring the map and finding enemy in blur. What's this do? Makes them an explorer. There. Makes them better, basically. Let's get a couple more scouts so we can find out the map. Many village uh, complete. Uh, complete. Uh. Getting built, it is. No, great. Eichmann. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, this is, uh... This is Russia. I will... If you will, but leave in peace, I shall not trouble you. Okay. One hour later. Ten seconds. Nine seconds. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. When I were 21, Jesus Christ. I did not enjoy playing that, guys. I did not enjoy that. I didn't know what was going on for the most part. I ended up winning because I allied the guy who was the best. He was pretty much killing me. He could have killed me at any moment. I don't know what any of this means in the, in the stats down here. 18 on the wonder thing. Percentages, I don't know what that probably means. Score. 40,000 knowledge and all these resources not knowing what to do with it because it's just mental like the oil you can't get the oil and everything else just comes so easy and you go through the ages so quick you like get the, the early archaic units and stuff like oh hoplites yeah this would be fun then suddenly you're getting attacked by tanks and aircrafts and stuff not my cup of tea guys not my cup of tea but I've played it now I can say I've played Rise of Nations although 15 years later and I was told by clerking in his chat that it was 4 months 4 days ago it was the 15th anniversary of the game not that I knew that beforehand. Uh, there we go, that was Rise of Nations. Next Thursday on Twitch we will do something different again. Maybe something that's uh, not so long. We should have done a mission rather than a random map. I don't think a random map would this be this mental. It's mental! Alright guys, if you've made it this far, you must obviously be a Rise of Nations fan, or you're a lunatic. Either way, take care of yourselves.